Hey guys, Shelby here, and welcome to part 5 of, yeah, part 5 of my series where I compare the Xbox One to the PlayStation 4. Now, I was going to do exclusive games and software, but because there's going to be more games announced at Eurogamer, I decided to hold off on that a bit, just until kind of we have a better idea of the kind of games we're going to get. So, we've gone on to the next one, as you can see, and that is Peripherals. I'm um, going to be looking at kind of the first party peripherals because there's going to be a lot of third party peripherals for both consoles and it's not really fair. So we're just going to be looking at the the Sony and Microsoft ones. So let's start off with the Kinect and the PlayStation Eye. The Kinect is, is better than the PlayStation Eye, like technically. However, the thing about that is that it's mandatory. You have to have it. Whereas the PlayStation Eye, you know, we don't have to have it. We can get it if we want. And us as gamers, we don't really care about the whole movement control. We don't care about it. It doesn't work enough. But the Kinect is, it is bundled. So that does mean, however, that games are going to take advantage of it. To, you know, whenever that will be. It could be, you know, next decade for all we know. But the PlayStation Eye saves a bit on the cost um, of the PlayStation 4 by not being included. That's just... You know, something that you have to toss up. Um, so next, with the controllers, they've both been both been pretty vastly updated. Um, the Xbox controller is pretty much the same as before. Um, they've made lots of changes, but they're small and they're quite subtle. The biggest changes are the D-pad, which a lot of people complained about, and there's been some changes to the thumbsticks. Um, and then there's the impulse triggers that give better feedback. The PlayStation 4 is is quite different to the PlayStation 3. It has the um, the touchpad in the middle that also is um, you can click it, um, which is interesting because you know it's it's going to be interesting to see how that works over over time. Um, then we've got the thumbsticks. Um, we've got the share button that these things have been added and upgraded kind of thing. We've got the the ergonomic shape of the controller itself is kind of like the PS Vita um, in that it's quite, it's cheap, it's um, lightweight, but it's also durable, which um, which is a good thing. I know that my, um, my PlayStation 3 controllers have started to, you know, um, want, wear away the top a bit from the thumbsticks. Hopefully that won't happen this time. Um, and an also interesting thing is the the vibration has been vastly improved over the previous the PlayStation Three controller. With um, it's apparently it has much better fidelity, and that you can it can go from say a scale of one to a hundred instead of one to on. You know, um, then there's the speaker in the middle. That's that's an interesting thing where um, games might take advantage of that. Um, hopefully they do. That could be. You could be voice. It could be. You know, um, anything really. They can have it to set. You know, they set it on whatever they like. So that's it's. But it is still subjective because it's that shape, that um, that very distinctive Xbox and PlayStation shape. That most gamers are going to prefer the same gener the same console, the same console's controllers, I should say, um, because of that shape that they're used to. Now the headsets, they both look, you know, pretty cheap and crappy, but um, the Xbox One headset isn't included. Now on the previous, on the Xbox 360, it was included, and most people had headsets headsets when they played, which is, you know, a pretty big deal, because if you're playing a multiplayer game, then you can communicate better. So they've it's kind of swapped this generation where the PlayStation 4 has their little uh, headset included, which is um, which is good. Um, always like to see included stuff, but it's also not it's not something that's going to add a whole lot of cost. It does look pretty cheap, and if you were a serious gamer, then you know you're not going to use it anyway. But it's just for voice, and you can put it under your headphones or whatever you're going to use because it's only their little, um, it's only earphones. Um, so then the last, last kind of topic here is the PS Vita. The PS Vita is kind of a, a big deal for the PS4. It's kind of a, um, they've built, uh, Sony have made it so that they can kind of exist together and, you know, integrate into one another very well. 
I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in the next part when we talk about interconnectivity. But basically, it allows you to do remote play. So you could be in, say, you know, your bedroom and the PlayStation 4 could be in the next room. You could be laying in bed at night and be like, oh, I feel like playing some, you know, whatever game is on the PlayStation 4 and not on the PS Vita. So the PS4 can do all the hard work and stream the video to the PS Vita, which is, you know, a pretty good feature. But, that being said, the PS Vita is, it's fairly costly and it's, you know, it's not really um, something that everyone has or is interested in. Although everyone I've talked to, you know, has, has highly regards it. So, overall, I'm going to give the Xbox um, ooh, a 7 out of 10. And I'm going to give the PlayStation 4 an 8. Because, you know, the PlayStation 4 includes the headset. They made a lot of upgrades to the controller. Um, and the PlayStation Eye, while it's not as good, it's, it's still it's decent. Um, and it would get the job done. And it's not included. So the Xbox One kind of fell short there where the headset isn't included. The controller has been updated and I'm not taking any points off for that. Um, but they haven't, they haven't innovated. They've, they've kind of um, just you know, made, updated what needed to be updated, that kind of thing. Um, and the Kinect, is, the Kinect was good. If it's used well, then that's great. But uh, it is included and a lot of people are unhappy with that. So thanks for watching, uh, make sure to subscribe, like the video, all that sort of stuff, it helps out a lot. Uh, make sure that uh, you um, stay tuned for part five, uh, part six, sorry, where we talk about the inter interconnectivity between the um, consoles and you know Xbox Smart Glass or the PlayStation Vita, that sort of thing. Um, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.